What was the first creature to leave the ground and take to the sky? 65 million years ago, the skies belonged to no one, but that was about to change. Because on Earth, something strange was happening. Feathers started appearing. Not for flight, not yet. At first, they were for warmth, for show. But feathers would soon rewrite evolution itself. Let's go back to the late Jurassic and meet something called Archaeopteryx, half bird, half dinosaur. It had teeth, a long bony tail, clawed fingers on its wings. But it also had feathers, and most likely, it could glide, not fly like a sparrow, but leap off a tree branch and sail silently down, just like flying squirrels do today. Now, let's move forward. Over the next 20 million years, wings got stronger, tails got shorter, claws started disappearing. Predators came from below, but the smartest creatures? They went up. Soon the skies were filled with strange things, toothless beaks, hollow bones, and lungs that worked like a turbo system, pushing air in one way and squeezing every drop of oxygen out. Birds didn't just fly, they became flight. By the time mammals were still crawling in the dirt, early birds were riding wind currents across entire continents. But not all birds flew. Some, like the giant terror birds of South America, used their wings to chase prey on the ground. They couldn't fly, but they didn't need to. They were fast and deadly. Others evolved in isolation, like the dodo. Flightless, friendly, gone. But many birds did make it. They survived extinction events, ice ages, and human conquest. Today, there are over 10,000 species of birds. Some glide over oceans for days, others dive underwater like torpedoes. And one, the hummingbird, flaps its wings 80 times per second. But it all began with one thing, a feather on a dinosaur. And that tiny change gave birth to the sky.